Right, so let's strap ourselves in, shall we? The uh, Chester <laughs> Missing Roadshow with uh, Conrad Koch is on at the Market Theatre here in Johannesburg from uh, next Tuesday. Late Night News is... Uh, Infamous, infamous puppet uh, Chester joins us with what do we call him? His owner? I'm not sure. His mentor. <laughs> uh, for now, I'm going with the most famous <laughs> duo in South Africa, if not Africa, if not the world. No, no, eventually. you guys, you guys. <laughs> well, they're awesome. Yeah, they're like us. They like us. Except, except Jeremy Listen, doesn't put show. words it's in. It's Marsha. I can see show. that. Jeremy, Look at all that gold. Okay, Look at so, all that gold. And that's what I want to ask. Julius Nalen is going <laughs> to nationalize your neck. <laughs> Studio, I think we need to cut to another camera. <laughs> um, but I was going to say, you know, y will you always be beholden to your white master? Exactly, Chester? I've exactly. heard that there are rumors you are may fire him and you're possibly looking for a I replacement. Have, but on late night news, if you know any any ventriloquist of color, because I mean, Helen Zilla is a good ventriloquist, isn't she? Why is Helen Zilla a good ventriloquist? When Lindiwe talks, you hardly see Helen's lips move at all. No, just. <laughs> <laughs> Conrad, the relationship that you have with this extraordinary it's individual... It's perverted. It's going to be on Tata TV. ...that you have <laughs> with... <laughs> this extraordinary relationship that you have. Yeah. Who is the dominant partner? I'd love to know that. Mm. Uh, who's your daddy? <laughs> 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 or is it a mutually symbiotic Oil gate relationship? Three. No, no, no. Chester Daphne's career has taken over. We used to be like that 50-50 program. Now we're more like 49-51. <laughs> Yeah, we, I mean, Chester's career has taken off and we're kind of floating along behind him, which is what the Chester Missing Roadshow is all about. Mm -hmm. I bring my other characters, uh, an ostrich who's really fun. She talks about celebrities. And That's Hillary. Crazy. Hillary, oh, she'll love her. You really will love her. Man. And, uh, and, and Ronnie is a crazy little monster. I've you know, caught a monster and trying to teach people monsters. No, he's sick. He's absolutely... He gets stuffed that's in suitcases. Where I had to stick my head in my own behind to get inside. And then I thought it in my own face. I felt <laughs> like a gas leak in Durban. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so... It, do, it certainly does seem like the, the pair of you are an equal opportunities fun poker. I mean, you yeah. mentioned Helen yeah. Zilla talking yeah. about hiding, you know, struggle heroes during apartheid in yeah. her hair. In her hair, yeah. Who's going to take the heat in the show? Oh, it's going to be all politicians and this guy. I mean, it's not okay to have a white guy putting words into a brown guy's mouth. Not, uh, not okay anymore. I mean, it's like you, you know, you know what that's like. You work at ETV. <laughs> <laughs> ENCA. I, I'm self-scripted. I can see that. Yeah, I, I can see that. Those earrings are like you got your own satellite. Chester, yeah, so let me ask you this question if I can. Focus. Yeah, okay. okay. Um, political aspirations of your oh, own. Surely yeah. there must be. Yeah, no, definitely. That must be I'm down the line. What, uh, your own party, perhaps? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, Akhang's uh, already started party for Tatats, and then you've seen the stuff Mantela Rantele is wearing on her head. It's traditional. It's huge. It's a new housing thing. And then you can. Uh, Tokyo Sehual is going to take it and replace it with RDT houses. If you had to start a new party, I mean, if you want to go up, you know, up against a hung, what would you call your party? Uh, a party for puppets. What would you call a party for puppets? Cult. <laughs> <laughs> I think we walked straight into that one, didn't we? I think we absolutely did. Where did you start, Chester? Where did I start? Mm. Uh, where did you start your career? No, I started doing comedy with this guy years ago. You know, mm. we were back in Cape Town uh, with Lois uh, and stuff. That's how we you all know each other. You actually have your own voice. I, I do, I know. Oh. Oh, no, don't listen to him. No, uh, don't talk to the white guy. Uh, uh, that's very 1993. No, man. <laughs> Conrad. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh, and then uh, Chester's career started taking off. And then I started writing about politics. And, uh, and then I went on a few shows. And then late night news at And now I'm a political analyst. A puppet yeah. political analyst. The only other thought that in politics is me, uh, Jackson and Tendu and Lindy and Nazi Buko. Who's got the bigger ego of the two of you? How can he ask that? Well, you've got a big head. That's mm. what all the ladies say. Oh, <laughs> you know, you guys are always quick to react to breaking news. Uh, and we spoke about the gas uh, leak today. But let's talk about the info bill. If it's passed, political uh, puppets like you might end up in jail. Do you, are no, you no, no, no. I already live in a suitcase. I don't care. They can't get Jeremy into, into a suitcase because that hair will get all scratched. And then where will he be? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, the info bill, it's, it is hectic. Yeah, you know, I'm very worried about this info bill. I think it's something every country has. I don't think it's a big deal. No, it's, it's, it's dangerous. We will never know what the hell is that big dunt on Jacob Zuma's head. <laughs> He's the pre You mean that? Yes, exactly. Who is in Zeka Zeka? We will never know. Just seriously. Who's putting words in Iman's mouth? Chester, the last time we saw you guys, you were what? working very, very hard in, in, in Mangong. Mm. Um, you have this there? extraordinary relationship, don't you? It's so odd talking to that eyes that never blink. You have this you. extraordinary I'm relationship, hardcore. don't you, with, with Unlike politicians? Unlike Dedra Tata with a thingy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this extraordinary relationship with, uh, with, with politicians, mm. um, they love you, don't they? Yeah, I know. They relate to Tatats in a, in a big way. Dummies and politicians go together. Conrad, why are they more happy to talk to the puppet 
than they are to perhaps talk to people who think they're professional yeah. news anchors. Well, like I don't think that, I think they talk to you all the time. Yeah. I was watching them crowding up at Mangong. Uh, you you friendly, I think. No, nah, they, they the really wanted to talk to Chester. I right? see, yeah, like really in peace. We didn't I have people really mobbing us. No, we we didn't have people mobbing us in Mangong, but you certainly <laughs> okay. did. No, it's because, I think it's because the people like to laugh, and even politicians are actually human, that they don't come across like human beings. They come across like large suitcases, I, like, like pillows that but eat a lot of lasagna. Let's talk very quickly about your show. It runs for six weeks, yeah. Mark a Theatre next mm. week. Um, you're hoping that people will laugh, you're hoping that they will think, are you hoping that both will happen? No, no, just one, one or the other side. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun. I mean, they will laugh. The p characters are crazy. I'm not crazy. You crazy. Yeah, well, exactly. And um, it's, it's uh, you know, just to analyze South African politics. Uh, and then we'd climb into some celebs yeah. as well because it's like the same kind of situation. There's a whole you know, extravaganza of entertainment with puppets. Yeah. And in this day and age and in South Africa, a fresh script every single day. That's right. You are right. so lucky. That's you? right. Exactly. Mm. You don't need to make up jokes in the oil leak when they Gas leaks in Jordan. Durban. Why is All that right. a joke? Because you know it's cool. Bose went through a joke. Well, we look forward to seeing the show. We'll certainly be there next week. Did you week get it in line? Okay. Right. Let's get him out. Shut that it. puppet up. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks so much for coming Cheers in, Conrad. Thanks, appreciate love it. Chester is always Yeah, I love fabulous. you, Jeremy. Ja, I want your hair. <laughs> It was a tough interview, that. I think it was possibly the really? hardest one we've ever had to do. Toughest interview we've ever done. Now, Chester yeah. Missing, along with uh, comedian Conrad Koch here on Newsnight. Thank goodness it's over. Our top stories on Newsnight. 14 people treated for inhaling ammonia at uh, Durban Harbour. Government promises to act swiftly following claims of irregularities at Petro SA. Five-year-old Taliwe Maseko recovers in hospital after her delicate skin graft operation. South Africa has to start unlocking its own internal growth potential, according to local economists. They say the key to driving growth in South Africa lies in making the country more attractive as an investment destination. It also needs a more enabling regulatory environment. The United States, Europe and China are key export partners, but a slowdown in these economies has meant less export orders for the country. The US's first quarter GDP figures have come in at a disappointing 2.5% from a projected 2.8%. And further growth projections for the US uh, remain on the downside. The Department of Trade and Industry has announced the proposed special... News that moves. ENCA.com